Whether humans should continue to exist on Earth once came down to the vote of one guy. It's been called the most dangerous moment in human history, and we didn't even know it happened until 40 years later. October 27, 1962. Eleven days into the Cuban Missile Crisis, the U.S. Navy discovers Soviet submarine B-59 deep underwater. To scare it up, they drop depth charges. The submarine's crew notices these explosions, but they don't know what's going on. One possibility was that fears of a global nuclear exchange have finally come true, and if so, they should launch their own nuclear weapons to join in. But that's the problem. What if there isn't a nuclear war happening above us? Then launching our weapons could start one, and not just a little one. A nuclear exchange powerful enough to annihilate at least the entire northern hemisphere of Earth. B-59 is so deep, they have lost all radio contact with Moscow or the rest of the world. In a case like that, protocol required a unanimous vote from the three highest ranking people on the ship. The ship's captain, Valentin Savitsky, was convinced they should do it, and the ship's political officer agreed. The pivotal third vote came down to second in command, Vasily Arkhipov. Arkhipov hesitated and eventually said no. Let's not do it. Instead of running out of air, they surfaced and exposed themselves to the U.S. Navy, and they were sent home to Moscow. They were received in shame. There was a feeling at the time that they should have gone down with their ship instead of surrendering. Arkhipov lived until 1998. Four years after his death, a fellow crew member that day finally told the story of what happened. In 2017, Arkhipov was posthumously given the Future of Life Award, a rare honor given to those who at risk to themselves safeguard the future of life on Earth.